I'm Ian White and I'm here today at the Neville Holt Estate which is going to be the venue for this year's Retriever Championships and I was very lucky because I managed to catch up with Jim Chathaway who is the head keeper. Well Jim, 20th of September I'm here on one of your many training days two and a half months before the biggest event in the Retriever Championship world National Championships. How's your preparation going? Well, the preparation's going very well. It's been a very hard year because I think this is probably the driest year since 1976, certainly in this area. So we've really struggled with the game crops and getting the turnips and things growing. They're getting there now slowly. We're still planting a few and still praying for some rain, really. That's, that's about the long and the short of it. Yep. How many years actually have, have you been keeping and how did you get it into it into the first place? Well, I've been keepering now, I think this is 32 years, and my father was a keeper before me, so it's sort of just carried on from into, into the family, really. Yeah. How long have you actually been the, the keeper at Neville Holt? I've been here at Neville Holt six years now, uh, coming up to seven years, obviously, in fe February. Yes. Yeah. David Ross, who I know is um, the owner of uh, all the land and everything, is he going to have uh, any, any sort of form of participation Probably shooting or something like that during the event? Well, not really. haven't sort of finalised anything like that yet. Um, but he might, hopefully might come for the last day, but it's un unlikely that he'd shoot during the first two days um, because he's very, of his commitments and been a very busy man. Yeah. Probably one, one question a lot of people would like to know is how was the Neville Holt shoot selected to be used for the championship? Well, as you know, him, you know, we've been running trials, novice trials and two-day trials now for well, probably since I first came here in five years. And we've got bigger and bigger with them in, in the amount that we do. And, um, and it just stemmed from there, I think about three years ago, it was sort of jokingly talked about perhaps on a two-day trial. And I sort of said, well, there's been nothing against it. And it just went on from there, really. And then the boss, once he was approached, he was quite happy with it. And then it's just snowballed, really. As, as the time approaches and uh, you get closer to it, you, have you got your idea who uh, you might be uh, asking to be one of the guns? Well, I'm very lucky in that respect because I can actually choose the guns and choose who I have. So I must admit, you know, I really am going to be choosing guns that are going to shoot for the dogs and make my job a lot easier. I've got a couple of keepers because we have a grouse grouse more in Yorkshire as well so a couple of the grouse keepers will probably come down and shoot for us as well on the end of the line which they're obviously very accurate and know what it's all about and then to fill the line up like I say I've got some good ideas from very very good trialing shoot, shooting people. Well with everything you said there I would think it's going to be an absolute success.